Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. How are you? I am tired. Yeah, but me I'm too. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. And then I have Walter. Hi, Walter. Walter Hello. is studying. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are yes. you, Walter? Um, very good. Excellent. It was a hard, it was a hard day, but uh, I am here ready to, to, to be in class. <laughs> to take the class. Very <laughs> good. Of, yes, that's, okay. that's very nice. Thank you for being with me. All right. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yes. It's it's nice. It's Wednesday. I mean, no, today is Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday, mm -hmm. right? One more class tomorrow. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Wednesday. The weeks fly, eh? They go really fast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We we are about to finish section. I mean, week two, and two more weeks, and we're finishing the module. Oh my very god. Fast. <laughs> it's super fast. It's very, very fast. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Very good. But the good thing is that you're learning. Every day you learn something new, so that's very nice. Okay, so let's that's, see. Where's everybody? Oh my goodness, everybody's not here today. What <laughs> I guess they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, and Juan, Lizzy, and Norma, and I. I know Norma, Lizzy, and, and you, Walter. Oh my goodness, only three and me. But I mean, yes. students only, only three. I know someone else came in right now. Who came in? Well, we are going to have like a personal. A class. personalized <laughs> class. Very good. Hi, Ramiro. Hi, Hi. Eli. Hi, Ramiro. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good, that's nice. How is Senya? Uh, she is fine. Okay, very good. Very good to know. All right, hi, Glenda. Glenda, hello. Hi, Jennifer. No, no me escuchan. Oh my goodness, Glendita and Jennifer, you don't listen to me. Okay. Hi. Hi, Glenda. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm happy. It's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. So we have already eight in class. That's very good. De repente dijimos con Walter solo tres vamos a estar en clase, pero mire, ya hay más Walter. ¿Ya ve? Very fast. All right. Okay. Very good. So, guys, yesterday we were talking about gerunds and infinitives, okay? And I know the topic is a little bit confusing, so we need to practice it. Aquí no hay otra forma más que memorize it and practice, yes? Yes. That's what we have to do, memorize and practice, that's it. Okay, so yesterday I'm going to show you the presentation we used yesterday. Okay, so just to remind you what we were talking about. Todos los que están ahorita estuvieron conmigo anoche, ¿sí, verdad? ¿Estuvieron yes. en la clase yes. ayer? Yes. yes. La Ramiro, Walter, Norma, yes. ya. Okay, very good. Elia. Yeah. Okay, yes. just to remind you about this. So remember that the gerunds are ing and they can be in the form of nouns. Okay, so if they are nouns, they can become subjects. And they are, if they are nouns, they can become object of the verb, okay? So that means that they might go at the beginning or they might go at the end of the sentence because they receive the action of a verb, okay? So we had a smoking is dangerous, swimming is healthy. Ramiro, can you give me one of the examples that you came up with yesterday for the subject? Sample. Gerund as a subject. What do you have from yesterday's class? Um, playing is very fun. Okay, very good. Nice. Walter, what about <coughs> your sentence? Gerund as a subject. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Singing is uh, is uh, is fun. Singing is fun. All right, Norma. Working is exhausting. Yeah, working is exhausting. I agree it's with you. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> yeah, Glenda, what do you have for your sentences yesterday? So for um, Jerome's as subject. <laughs> Uh, dancing is fun. Okay, dancing is fun. All right, very good. What about Lisi? What did you have for that one, Lisi? Yes, uh, working outside is too hard. Oh, okay, working hard outside. Or working outdoors is hard. Very good, Lisi. Roberto, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very good. I'm fine. Yeah, Roberto, can you give us one of your sentences that you had? As a Jaron, as a subject, please. Okay. Uh, practicing is the key. The key. The key. Practicing is the key. Very nice. Nice sentence. Ellie, what about your sentence? Thank you, Roberto. Yes, subject. Yes, a subject. Yes. Working is tiring. Yeah. <laughs> and Jennifer, what do you have for that one? Jenny? No, not around maybe. Okay, let's see. What about um, gerunds as objects? Glenda, what do you have for gerund as the object of the verb? I like running. I like running, yes, okay. Very good. Norma, what about your what about your sentence? I love cooking. Ah, nice. Really, Norma? No. Ah, oh, come on, Norma. Only, <laughs> <laughs> Only the sorry. example. Ah, I <laughs> thought it was true. For a class. <laughs> All right, very good. Roberto, what about your Jaron as a subject? I mean as an object, I'm sorry. I did, uh, I dislike swimming. Ah, really, Roberto? Or no? No, if for ah, example. Only the example. All right, very good. Lisi, your sentence. Um, which one? Like Jerome's teacher? Jerome oh. as an object. Um, I had, uh, uh, you know, playing tennis is too funny. As, as, as an object, Lisi? Yes, I, I don't know. I confused this year. Okay. okay, what are you confused about? Subject is before. Yeah, subject is at the beginning. Okay, so playing tennis is too funny. That would be Jaron as a subject. Uh huh. Okay, and as do you have sentences as an object? As a object. Um, yes. I enjoy playing piano every night. Ah, that's a nice sentence. Thank you, Lisi. Very good. What about Ellie? What do you have? Ellie, no? A ver, Walter, what do you have for all as an object? Hola. Hi, Ellie. Okay, um, I, I like... Ellie, Lani? Yeah, I uh -huh. like swimming. Very good, Walter. Yes. Uh -huh, Ellie, I like give me your sentence. Thank you, Walter. I like I swimming. Uh, I like sim swimming every uh, weekend. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Very good, Ellie. What do you have for that one? Uh, she hates learning Italian. She hates learning Italian. All right, Ramiro. What about you? Mm. Teacher likes dancing. Yes, I do actually. Very good. <laughs> Jennifer, what about you? Okay. Yes. Oh. I love dancing. Okay. <laughs> she hates dancing salsa. Who? Me? Or anybody? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay. No. So very good. If you realized, okay, so we can use the gerund at the beginning of a sentence and we can use the gerund at the end of a sentence, okay? Al final es el mismo gerundio, lo que pasa que se, eh, 
acción es diferente, ¿verdad? Actúa de, como sujeto o actúa como objeto del verbo, ¿ok? So that's the pretty much the main difference in these type of sentences. Then we were talking about the prepositions, okay? So some of them are like easier to work with and some of them are a little bit more like difficult, okay? But it's not such a big deal here. Si hay unas que siempre van a ir, cuando se tiene una preposición, no sea al tú, all right? Siempre va a ir like gerund, okay? So for growing, by, under, eh, so many, many like uh, sentences like that with different prepositions, okay? Then we were also talking about this hey, one. Esto siempre, yes? Can you please uh, go back to the, to the, uh, the presentation, please? Not okay. The, yes, yes. In the number one, what is this needed for growing plant is, uh, is Jeron um, with uh, infinity, infinity. No. But it's not a, it's not a preposition. Where's the infinitive? The, the, uh, the, sent, the, um, the word the for, the for, the word for is not on the preposition above. Above. Ah, it's not, but it, it is part of it. It's one of the mm -hmm. biggest one. Mm -hmm. If you remember, Walter, remember the very first day that we were talking about gerunds and, and infinitives, and even in the platform, the explanation is that we use for plus gerund and to plus infinitive, because that's, that okay. preposition for is one of the, like, the biggest one that you use with gerunds. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. Not here on the list, but it is used as like when you use gerunds, you have to use for, or many times you use for. Okay. And if you remember on the platform, we only concentrate on the difference of use of gerund and infinitive by the preposition for or the particle to when we talk about infinitives, okay? But okay. there are many, many, many more. Like, for example, this list right here. Several, several cases. Yeah, in several cases and several um, prepositions. If you notice also, Walter, you have etc. That means that there are more. No wow. se quede solo con esto que se le da aquí. Acuérdese que esto va como paulatino, digamos. En la plataforma, el video dura ni tres minutos, ¿ok? Por largos, tres minutos. Por cortos, son ni 30 segundos, ¿ok? No se logra cubrir toda la explicación. Se le da como el dulcito. En la clase conmigo, se entiende un poco más, ¿verdad? Y luego, el trabajo más grande ya es como más personal. Es decir, bueno... Con estas dos cosas que yo ya tengo, exploro más, ¿verdad? Cuando yo le digo aquí, etcétera, quiere decir que hay muchas más preposiciones, que no solo son estas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí es como que hay que ahondar más en los temas para poder eh, seguir aprendiendo un poco más, ¿verdad? Pero entonces, por eso es el, el ejemplo acá, for growing, en la preposición for no está aquí arriba, pero sí es una de las más grandes que se usan con gerundio. All right, Walter. Okay. Okay, very good. Good question. Okay. Thank very you. good. So then Teacher, we have, yes? I have a, a question with the, um, with the there to be in the, uh -huh. in the, in the first sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is the meaning? What is, what is needed? Ah, okay. Why, why uh, the verb to be uh, is in, in, in present? Okay. The, okay, very, very good question. The idea here, okay, I'm going to explain this. This sentence right here, it is called passive voice, okay? Cosa que no hemos visto aún, okay? La voz pasiva es, eh, no se le llama otro tiempo verbal porque realmente no, pero es como una forma de expresar lo mismo. Cuando usted ya vaya por el avanzado o el preavanzado, vamos a ver la voz pasiva. Por ejemplo, yo, ¿se, ¿se ha fijado cuando las camisas atrás dicen made in El Salvador o made in Vietnam o made in China? 
Cuando yes. yo estaba chiquita decía Madeín. <risa> All right, pero ese es secreto, no le digan a nadie. Todo el mundo nos acaba de oír, pero no importa. All right. Entonces, ese made in El Salvador, made in Vietnam, está en voz pasiva. Quiere decir que yo digo lo siguiente. La camisa, en este caso la blusa, fue hecha en El Salvador. Ese fue hecho es en voz pasiva. ¿Ok? Yo puedo decir la camisa es... O se hace en El Salvador. Esa es voz activa. ¿Ok? Pero cuando yo digo the, the shirt or the blouse is made in El Salvador, that's passive voice. Igual que aquí, la voz pasiva siempre se ocupa con el verbo be y el pasado participio del verbo. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. este ejemplo que está acá, si sí estamos usando el gerundio, ¿verdad? Y si se fija, usamos el gerundio en cualquier forma o tipo de oración que estemos usando. En este caso, la primera está siendo usada en voz pasiva. Por eso usted ve aquí el is, porque es el verbo be, y este mm. verbo no es que esté en pasado, está en pasado participio. Ah, uh, ok. Entonces, okay. el, si el agua es necesitada, ¿verdad? O es necesaria para regar uh, plantas. Uh -huh. ¿Y por quién es, es, es necesaria o por quién es, está siendo usada en el caso? Eh, por alguien. En la voz pasiva podemos omitir el que hace la acción, el que ejecuta la acción. Yo digo, este libro fue escrito. ¿Por quién? No sé. Puede ser que no sepa o puede ser que no sea importante mencionar por quién fue escrito. Entonces, ahí usamos la voz pasiva. Ok. Entonces, esta oración, Roberto, está en voz pasiva, por eso está ocupando el is en presente y el pp del verbo. Okay. Uh -huh. The last two. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. The third. All right. Yeah. All okay. right. Very good. Okay. Next one. Eh, nos quedamos acá. Acuérdense que esta es nada más, como les digo, ayer creo que Jennifer dijo la puntita del iceberg, ¿verdad? Aquí es como, uh, hay muchos más verbos, no solo se quede con esto. Estos quizás son como los más usados, ¿verdad? So you need to remember them. Y aquí nada más to memorize them and to practice. Ok. And then we have, ayer nos quedamos. ¿Lograron terminar el ejercicio de ayer? Did you finish all the exercises that we were working with or not really? Guys, hola. Not really. No, you didn't finish. Walter, did you finish the exercises yesterday? Uh, but uh, in... Um... Not completed, teacher. Ah, okay. What about Ramiro? Uh, I did a complete number three. Four. Teacher. Number three, okay. Eli, sí. Larín, did you finish the exercise yesterday? Más o menos. Okay, Jennifer No le hicimos una, pero... Ah, okay, okay. Jennifer and, and, and Norma, did you finish? I finished today. No, 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 no. Oh, you finished today. All right, very good. And uh, Lisi, and the, did you finish the exercise yesterday? Yes, I think so. Okay. And Glendita, did you? Yes. All right. Okay, very good. Okay. Eh, igual lo voy a volver a mandar a grupos. No van a estar con la misma persona que estuvieron ayer. Si en el caso de Glenda y Lisi, que sí terminaron, eh, y se unen, por ejemplo, con Carlos o con Ramiro, que no han terminado, solo ay, ayúdenme aquí a que ellos terminen, igual les ayuda a practicar. Y luego vamos a seguir con la práctica del infinitive. The infinitive of the verb, solo para recordarles, the infinitive of the verb eh, is the basic form of the verb. We have two types of infinitives, the very infinitive and the full infinitive. Remember the very infinitive, we don't have the, the particle to. We omit to swim, to live, to eat, to play. All right, we omit it. We don't use it. We just say swim, live, eat, and play. Ese se llama very infinitive. El full infinitive es cuando la tú. To swim, to live, to eat, to play. All right? Uh, so we're going to do this. Otra, otra, another use of the inf infinitive is when we use an adjective. I am happy to see you. Okay, I am, um, I don't know, I'm excited to go to Miami, all right? So you need an adjective and then you use the infinitive. In this case, it's the full infinitive, okay? Because you're using to plus the verb. Then you have here, guys, we have the list, okay, of the verbs that are followed by infinitives. 
Okay, and then you have infinitive with models, with model verbs. Que es cuando usamos el very infinitive. Acuérdense que cuando usamos un verbo modal, excepto have to, yo to, todos los demás no decimos I can to go, I can to speak, I can to play. Eso no se hace jamás. Se dice I can play. Sigue siendo un infinitivo y hoy ha descubierto que se llama very infinitive. ¿Por qué se le llama very infinitive? Porque no llevo la partícula to. All right? Yes? Yes. All right. Let me just see something else here. Okay. So, o les voy a dar la indicación para las actividades de ahorita. Van a terminar lo que dejamos pendiente ayer y luego seguimos con esto. La primera actividad del infinitive va a ser escribir dos oraciones usando adjectives plus infinitive. Full infinitive. Two sentences with adjectives and full infinitive. Four sentences, four sentences using any of this verb plus full infinitive, okay? Four sentences. And then this one, you're, I want you to write four sentences using the model verb plus a bare infinitive, okay? Do you understand? ¿Cuándo vamos a usar? ¿Cuándo vamos a hacer de la última? Four. Okay. okay. Did you get it? Los niños que no me han terminado, terminen lo que les faltó de ayer y luego nos ponemos con esto, okay? Teacher. Yes. Could you please repeat it the, the, the instruction again, please? Okay, yes, of course. Um, hold on. Here we have the first assignment or the first um, homework is you have to make sentences using adjective plus full infinitive, yes? Yes. Okay, next activity, four sentences using any of these verbs, ustedes escojan which ones, and then the any of these verbs plus full infinitive, okay? Then, uh, Walter, okay. activity number three, I want you to make four sentences using modal verbs plus their infinitive. Okay? Full infinitive. Yeah, In, yeah every, right now it's everything infinitive. Si usted no ha terminado yes. la actividad de ayer, termine primero lo de los gerundios y luego continúa con el very infinitive, con los infinitives, okay? Okay, okay Walter? Yes. All right, so let's go to the groups right now, guys. So we start. Va a haber un grupo de tres. There you go, guys.
ஒரு Hi guys. Hi teacher. Hi teacher. <laughs> Any questions? Hello. Uh, Carlos. Carlos. Dale. Down in class. Just a teacher. She he has a lot of questions. Es que se escucha muy entrecortado uh -huh. todo. I'm sorry. Casi no se entiende. Este, eh, yo creo que mejor hagamos los ejercicios yes. de hoy y luego. Yes, you have reason. Ok. In the chat, yes, yeah, Norma is having, I think Normita is having problems with the audio, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, I, I don't know why. Uh -huh. Well, you can use the chat, Normita, or try because sometimes it works. It works when uh, I mean, I'm able to listen to you properly, but sometimes I'm not. But only today, Norma, because usually you don't have a problem. Yes, it's in the beginning of class. I, I listen to you. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Um, Eli and Carlos, if, if you have questions, let me know, okay? I'm gonna go check another group. Okay. okay let me see, Jim, for example. She, she was, um, she was an oh, adjective. I, my, my. <laughs> she was. What, what, are, what are you working on right now, Ramiro? I work with Lisi, teacher. No, but what are you working on right now? Ah, so, uh, two sentences uh, with infinity. Uh, you finished the gerunds yesterday? Yes. Yesterday? Yes, okay. teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, okay. And she was born. She was born. Two. Okay. I had one. She has lovely look. She was lovely. She look. Uh -huh. What is the infant? Uh. Lovely. 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 Adorable. She. Okay. But what is the two. infinitive in that one? Uh, look. Look. No. Look. Mm -hmm. Um. Look. That's the adjective, right? You're to, you're trying to do an infinitive after adjectives. Yes. Yeah, but in this case, um, it's not an an infinitive. Okay. I mean, lovely she is an adjective, yes, too. but uh, well, actually, it's an adverb. Uh -huh, that's an adverb, and then it's an adjective. Two. You're using lovely as an adverb, and, a, and, and look, it would be a, something else, but it's not <clears throat> infinitive. You need to change that okay, one. Two. Okay, to. Um, to go to the. To the center, no sé. <laughs> to go to the. 
You can say it is fun to dance. Fun is an adjective. Okay, to go dance. I am tired to play soccer. No. No, that's fine. Yeah, that one's okay. Okay. Uh, exercise number two are. What is the exercise number two, Lizzie? Exercise number two to choose four set four um, verbs to make four sentences using full okay. infinitive. For, um, for this verb, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can okay. choose four, any four. Verbs that. Are followed by infinitives. By infinitives, yeah. To speak with, I guess, I miss to speak with you. I miss, what is I miss? Uh, extraño, miss. Extraño. Ah, okay. I miss to speak with you. Okay, wow. excellent. And I need, no, I hope, I hope uh, to rain tomorrow. Hope. Hope, de esperar, creo que va. Walter, I have a question. What was your sentence when you say I miss? Excuse me. What was your sentence when you say I missed to what? I missed to speak with you. Are you sure? <laughs> Look at this chart, Walter. Um to speaking. I miss speaking with you. That would be gerund. Mm -hmm. Look at this chart, Walter and Roberto. Can you see this chart yes. right now? Yes. Here yes. are verbs that are followed by infinitives. Mm -hmm. But miss is not here. Miss is on uh, the other chart. Yes. Miss is right here. Verbs, uh, verbs that are followed by gerunds and I have miss here. And you okay. say, I miss talking to you. He's listening to you. All right, extraño verte, extraño escucharte. I miss listening to you. But okay. no with infinitive, um, Walter. Okay. Well, Con la I práctica, don't... lo que sucede es que se oye raro. ¿Verdad? Que usted dice, ah, es como que si alguien le dice, salí afuera. Usted dice, ah, okay. <laughs> I had to take the picture, please, because I, I don't have it. Ah, you don't have this one? No, teacher. Ah, hubiéramos empezado por allí. <laughs> yes, I, I have read. Uh, no, no, it's not good. Let me see. Okay, we can use in this bear with, with infinite, with gerund. No, no, you can't. Only in this case, Roberto, this chart only follows the infinitives. Only for infinity. Only for infinity, yes. And then, Roberto, si de eso no es complicado, le complico un poco más que hay otros verbos que pueden usarse con dos, con los, con ambos. Con ambos. Ajá. Eso es lo que tenemos que aprender. ¿no? That's right. Saber cuándo, cuándo es cuándo y cuándo, por qué. <laughs> <laughs> ok, dicho. All right. Pero estos, digamos, como para empezar, por decirlo así, Podemos empezar como memorizándonos estos, ¿verdad? Para tener como una base. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y unos más que se ocupan más que otros siempre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este de can't stand, cuando se dice no tolero la bulla o el no tolero la música alta. I can't, list, I can't stand listening to loud music. Se oye uh -huh. raro si usted dice I can't, stand, I can't stand to listen. Es como raro. 
Ok. Nosotros nos vemos raro, ¿verdad, Pero? <risa> ya, claro. <risa> no, pero le pasa que cuando, digamos, vaya, ahorita que yo escuché a Walter y lo, escu lo logré escuchar al final de la oración, uh -huh. me quedé pensando como, ah, porque está diciendo Miss, tú. ¿Tú qué era, Walter? To speak with you. To speak with you, ajá. Fue así como, ah, oh, all right. Eso fue así, no, no, no. Sí, ya se oye como, no está, no está bien. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, Pero eso, ya. eso se, digamos, usted lo, lo logra manejar con la práctica, obviamente, ¿verdad? Que usted dice, ah, no, eso no se puede decir así. Es como si yo le digo, I is happy. Usted se va a poner a reír así como teacher porque está diciendo, I is happy. Porque ya usted, su cerebro ya lo, ya obviamente lo comprende que no, no se puede decir jamás, I is happy. ¿Right? Oh, ok, Entonces, no puedo. Cuando, cuando llega esa comprensión, ya su cerebro dice, ah, no, eso está malo. No sé por qué, pero está malo, no se ve bien. <risa> yeah, pues sí, entonces está, también es incorrecto decir, I suggest to see. Yeah, I suggest, I suggest see. like, I suggest. going to the doctor. O sea, no dice, I suggest to go to the doctor. You say, I suggest going to the doctor. Going to Okay. Yeah. Okay, pero continúen que vamos bien. Acuérdense que aquí es... Práctica, práctica, práctica. Is that okay, teacher? I suggest to watch videos for learning, learning English. No, that's in Korean. Yeah, it is. I mean, you can. Yes, it yeah, can because actually. suggest. Walter yeah. is in Jeros. I suggest in Jero. watching yes, in videos. Si es que también estamos cruzados con los cuadritos. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> uh, well, yes, a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. No, para yeah, nada. Okay. O sea, aquí es como... You, we just need to practice, Walter. Yes, that's uh, the, the Missy, so yes, yes, and I'm going to Ajá. Very good. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. So, did you have, do you have the, the other chart? Yes. For uh, infinity, infinity? Yes. Por eso que no encontré a mí, se preguntaba. No e veo, ese le tiene foto, eh, Walter. I, del, I, el chart. I took, teacher, I took the photo. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, can you wait? Hop. Offer. Yes. Plan. I plan to to travel next mm -hmm. year. I plan to travel next. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, ladies. Are you finished? No. no. Okay, continue. That's okay. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm just okay. checking. Confused okay. with ejemplo de el cuadro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por What ejemplo, una, una oración nos quedaría eh, eh, she asked Y ahí tendremos que usar, seguido del ask, un verbo infinitive. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, Jennifer asked me to help her. O she asked to get helped. I don't know. But, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. So después, seguido del verbo este que está acá, you have to use an infinitive. Ok. You understand? Entonces, Jennifer asked to El ejemplo, teacher? Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer asked me to help her. To help her. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. O, o, other okay. example. Uh -huh. I want to 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 eat. That's right. Yes. Pizza. Yeah. Very good. I want to eat pizza. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Sabes lo que pasa? Que ahorita estamos como descubriendo cómo se llama cada cosa. Pero que ya, ya lo usamos. Usted dice, teacher, I want to go to the beach. Ahí está usando un infinitivo. Detrás o seguido de, del verbo want. Sin saber que se podía usarse así. O por qué se usaba así. ¿Verdad? Usted ahorita los estoy conflictuando porque les estoy explicando y les estoy dando como los nombres gramaticales y el por qué va después de tal verbo, pero ya lo decimos. Sí, de hecho ya se usaba, pero no sabíamos el por qué. Exactamente. Ahí ¿verdad? viene la confusión. Ahí viene la Ajá, confusión y lo que, que dice, ay no, qué difícil esto. No es difícil, lo que pasa es que de repente es porque el nombre, ya le pusimos nombre y apellido y ahí nos cuesta. Ajá. Ya lo hacíamos. Usted dice, I agree, por ejemplo... Eh, yo me puse de acuerdo, con, yo me pongo de acuerdo con Jennifer para ir a, o para ir al cine, para ver una película. I agree to go to the, I don't know, to the movies. I can't afford to travel to Miami. I can't mm -hmm. afford it. Y ya lo decimos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Usted dice, I learned to speak English. Con el verbo learn. Y usa el infinitivo. No dice, I learned speaking English. <risa> ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahorita estamos descubriendo que tienen un porqué. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Si lo vemos de ese lado, decimos, ah, no, no está tan complicado, ya lo usaba. <risa> uh -huh. sí. Bueno. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Hoy sí hice las otras dos. Ya. ¿Cuál otro verbo? Hello, Norma, Carlos, Danelli, ¿cómo van? In the second activity. Okay, that's good. That's yes. good. Take your time. Aquí es. You take your time. The, the idea is for you to finish. Y que se sienta cómodo con el tema. Y cómoda. Yes. It's a, it's a good time to say, she wants to work every holiday. No. No. Como él no. lleva un modal, no puede, tiene que llevar un very infinitive, eh, Norma. O leer tú. No, uh, uh, okay. no lo vamos a usar con... Con uh, modales, no. Ah, es que la que hizo ella es la de la tercera. Ajá. Ah, tú hiciste de la tercera, yo hice de la segunda actividad. No, y de hecho, I have a mistake, but the teacher Ajá. Dígame la otra vez, Normita, así como la tenía. Sí, más to work every time. Ajá. Entonces, si le quito el tú, le quedaría she must work. Okay. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, ahí yeah, es el, estamos el, usando infinitivo, pero es el, be, el very infinitive, donde no, donde omitimos el tú. The same point. Ajá. Ok. Y esta teacher, the neighbor can wait to cook meat roasted. The neighbors can wait to cook roasted meat. Roasted beef, roasted yes. Roasted meat. Ya, yeah. dele vuelta a eso nada más, lo demás está bien. Ok. Primero, ya siempre se me olvida que primero va el... <laughs> ya. <Yeah. laughs> roasted meat. Ok. Roasted meat. Y nos faltan tres de cuadro. Ay, qué difícil. Mm. 
And the other teacher, she should drive eight hours every day. She should drive eight hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ahí estamos, uh, you, we're using drive in infinitive, but it's very infinitive. Okay. Uh -huh. Repeat the sentence, please. I write in a chat. Okay, okay. And, 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 and Carlos, what happened? He's sleeping. No sé. Carlitos. <laughs> what happened, Carlos? Are you sleeping? <laughs> Do you see that? The, the example Sophia pay to shop clothing, clothes, clothing. Sophia? Clothes. Pay to shop, shop clothes. Yeah. Sophia pay to shop clothes. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Shop. Like in this chat. Yes, please. I understand that this... Pero, ajá, pero es que ahí va seguido el verbo seguido por un infinitivo, pero ella quería los dos infinitivos, el verb infinitive mm -hmm. y el full infinitive, y estas que hicimos son de full infinitive. Entonces mm -hmm. tiene que ir sin, sin, sin el tú. Cuando es el very infinitive es sin el tú, ¿verdad? Y cuando es el full mm -hmm. infinitive es con el tú. Okay. Sí. Con este cuadro, con este cuadro, el, ah, ok, I can, play, I can pay attention, you should take a shower, he has to clean, yeah, he has to Ajá, clean pero, the house, maybe, but, uh -huh. but, ah, pero, but pero, these pero, are the sentences for the infinitive. And models. And models, uh -huh. yes. Models. Súbala, uh -huh. súbala, aquí, aquí, teacher, nos hace falta solo la del oh. very infinitive, ¿verdad? No, Porque en esas no llevan in very infinitive. Ah, okay. En esas van full infinitive. Full infinitive. Full infinitive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the other exercise, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You tell it to play soccer, yes. you are fun to play. Yeah, dance. very good. Y, y el otro, ¿cuál es? Con él. No, 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 no. Baje. Ah, solo. Uh -huh. No, yo creo que ya terminaron. You finished everything. Ah, ah okay. okay. Creí, yeah, que había pedido, creí que había pedido con el bar infinitive. No, 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 no. The very infinitive in this case, um, this is only with the uh, modal verbs. No. Okay. 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 For me, is confused adjective mass infinitive. Yeah, I know, but it's because we need to know. Yeah. The um. The. Teacher, yeah, uh, teacher, yes. Another example uh, for for this case. For the you can part. say you can say I deserve to. I don't know. I. ¿Qué se merece usted, Ramiro? A ver. A new car. Okay, I deserve to buy a new car. I deserve to win a new car. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> I deserve to get a scholarship. Merezco una eh, beca. Ah, a college beca is college. A scholarship. Scholarship. Okay. I deserve to take a vacation. 
I deserve to take. To take yeah. a permission. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. More is more clear for me. It's clearer for you, okay. I refuse <laughs> to quit studying English, right? Oh. Usted se rehúsa a dejar de estudiar inglés, ¿cierto? I refuse. Yes, teacher. Yes. I am, I am I am querudo. Of course, yes, very querudo. good. <laughs> <laughs> si estuviera él me dijera, how do you say querudo in English? How do you say querudo in English? A mí, es, es, esa parte sí me... De, I am happy to see. Uh -huh. I am tired to see. Play. Ese siento que me confunde. Que, un le, poco. que le cuesta un poco. Uh -huh. Sí, pero necesito aprenderme más los adjetivos. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. Yo creo que ahí está. Uh -huh. I just seen, I just seen the, the adjective first in Spanish. I only seen the adjective in Spanish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and That's then I, I, I get the. Good the, idea. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. All right, we're gonna finish because it's almost time to go. We're gonna go back to the main group and then we're going to um, to wrap up the class, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks. All right, guys, hello. Were you able to finish? Yeah, so, so, okay. Um, I was telling Glenda and I was telling Glenda, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Con Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, mm -hmm. I was telling Glenda and I was telling Jennifer que por lo general, bueno, no por lo general, de hecho nosotros, and I'm going to say this in Spanish, de hecho todos ustedes ya hacen oraciones desde hace ratos, oraciones tan simples como cuando dicen, I want to go to the beach, I want to eat pizza. ¿Ok? Lo usamos. Lo que pasa es que ahorita les estoy complicando la vida porque les estoy contando las, los nombres de cada cosa dentro de la oración. ¿Verdad? Entonces ahorita les dije, ah, bueno, con este cuadro solo con infinito. Y es como que complicado, se vuelve complicado, pero ya lo hacen. Lo que pasa es que ahorita ya tienen que pensar un poco más en decir o ser más conscientes con qué verbo tengo que usar un gerundio, con qué verbo tengo que usar un infinitivo. Pero si usted no lo piensa, usted mañana me va a decir, hey teacher, I wanted to go to the concert. Digamos que hubo un concierto y usted lo está usando sin ningún problema, ni lo piensa. En ningún momento piensa, ah, voy a usar un infinitivo después de want. Entonces digo, I wanted to. Mentira, no lo hacemos. Ya lo tenemos. Me Hoy sí lo pensamos, mecánico, dicho. ¿Verdad? Lo que pasa que ahora, y es importante ya en el nivel que ustedes están, saber que, por qué, el, el, el cómo, el por qué y cómo se llama cada cosa dentro de la oración. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Para que usted... Eh, teniendo un conocimiento más, más gramático, ¿verdad? No tanto es nada más porque lo sé decir, pero no, a saber por qué es, ¿me entiendes? Sino que usted ya tiene una razón de decir, ah, esto es así por tal cosa. Entonces ya cuando usted se enfrenta a un examen o algo así más, eh, no sé, menos, menos rutinario, digamos, algo como un poquito más complicado, usted dice, ah, ok, yo ya entiendo por qué es esto, ¿Por qué después de este verbo va esto? ¿O por qué después de un verbo modal no llevo el tú? Siempre sigue siendo un infinitivo, pero es un very infinitive. Entonces ya tiene usted como para alegar que usted dice, no es que yo ya entiendo inglés, porque aquí no es solo de hablarlo, es realmente de entenderlo, ¿verdad? Y de poder de descifrar qué estamos diciendo y por qué lo estamos diciendo. ¿Ok? Entonces, sí se vuelve un poco complicado porque ya le ponemos otras cosas, ¿Verdad? O le ponemos la de todo esto, pero usted ya lo habla, ya lo, ya lo puede hacer, ya lo ha, lo ha venido diciendo varias veces y no, no, no sabíamos que era un tal very infinitive, que era un full infinitive, que por qué va después de un verbo tal o del verbo tal cual. ¿Verdad? Entonces es nada más es para que se fijen que es un poquito más complicado, pero no es tan, tan, tan difícil al final. ¿All right? ¿Yes? Okay. Okay.
¿verdad? Entonces no se preocupe, ya usted ya lo, ya lo maneja, lo que pasa es que ya le pusimos nombre. Y eso es todo lo que nos, nos conflictúa. All right. Eh, tomorrow vamos a empezar ya con un nuevo tema, vamos a dejar el infinity y el gerundio un, un rato. En los preavanzados se vuelve a ver, ¿verdad? En el avanzado se vuelve a ver, así es que como que ahí está. Entonces lo bueno es que ya lo tenga como más o menos ya, ya sé de qué se trata esto, ¿ok? Ok. All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have this topic. We're not going to talk about this anymore, but we're going to talk about something similar to this, ¿ok? Okay. okay. All right, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being in class. Thank Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.